Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm changing things up a bit. Rather than demonstrating how to do a particular statistical technique, uh, I tested a, a hypothesis. It was more of an exploratory type hypothesis of uh, relevant to which uh, statistical packages, uh, the popular ones uh, that are most popular, uh, in the job market, uh, when you read different uh, uh, different um, websites and blogs and such, people talk about uh, one particular stats package not be being very popular anymore, and this one being the best. And I don't know anyone who works in this industry that uh, uses this stats package, but I've never seen anyone. Um, uh, these are qualitative statements, anecdotal evidence, and I've never seen anyone actually do some analyses to see which one um, is the most popular. I actually did do a blog um, entry a, a few a couple, about a month ago or, or a bit more than that, where I looked at the a number of hits that the various stats packages websites were getting to estimate the popularity that way. Um, and I ranked uh, every the stats packages accordingly, uh, but I wasn't really totally confident that data were were totally accurate, um, and, and whether they were a, a, you know a really good indicator about how popular the stats packages were. In fact, if those for those of you who may have checked out that blog, uh, Mathematica came out as the the most popular stats package based on the number of hits at websites it gets and I was very surprised to learn that was the case. Uh, so an alternative way of looking at this question is to look at the number of job advertisements that include the stats packages name in the job advert. And to do so, to collect those data, I actually went to a website called indeed.com which uh, I understand is a meta crawler type of uh, search engine for jobs. So rather than being specific to uh, any particular, uh, that is, no one actually provides um, job adverts to this website and then pays them money. Instead, this website actually searches them, searches the various uh, job websites um, within a particular country uh, and loads them up all up. It's kind of like Google, really. It's Google for websites, uh, for job search. It's a meta crawler. So what I did is I looked uh, across uh, several countries. Uh, I think there was a total of eight countries that I looked across. Uh, in fact, let's um, we could actually look at the data this way. Uh, I, lo I looked for stats packages in job adverts across uh, six countries, USA, United Kingdom, Canada, India, Australia, Hong Kong. Uh, I just chose that as a relatively diverse group of countries across uh, regions in, in the world. And the stats packages I looked at were SAS, MATLAB, SPSS, Minitab, Stata, JMP, Mathematica, Statistica, and Systat. Now there are some other stats packages that I could have looked at, and a couple that were would have been particularly interesting to me would have been S plus and R. Uh, but the challenge with looking for those in in a uh, in a search engine is that you get a lot of other hits that are not relevant to the stats package. Uh, now S plus sometimes people might write the word uh, Windows operating system plus something else. I mean, they're not talking about S plus the programming language. So it would come up with hits that were totally irrelevant. Uh, and the stats package R, which I'd be very interested to examine as well, uh, is even worse. You, come, you get hits for jobs that just have the letter R and it has nothing to do with stats. Um, so I couldn't include those. Uh, maybe I can figure out a way in the future to, to check that out. Okay, so what the data look like this, these are the results, and I've I've separated them across country um, uh, because I was interested to see. Some people say that one package is more popular in some countries, and other countries uh, it's not uh, popular. Uh, I didn't find that to be the case based on job adverts, uh, including terms like SAS, SPSS, Statistica. All those uh, those I, I did individual search searches based on those stats packages terms uh, or words. And this is the, the plot you get. And I realize that doing a line graph for this case is probably not the most appropriate from a strict perspective um, because these are nominal data across here. Uh, but in my opinion, it was very obvious that this was the clearest way to do it. Doing a, a bar chart looked um, really not very good, uh, just out of interest. If you're interested to see what that looks like, it looks like